So I'm just going to start off by introducing the segment path tool. This has got just a few little options for us. We've got the input shapes. So what we're going to do is drag our input shape into there. And it's a bit hard to see. I'll just turn off my ellipse shape here and I'll just change this to white. So when we trim the stroke on our segment path, you can see where it's broken up. And if I go back into the main shape options, I can type whatever I want into here. If you also wanted to break things up with color, we can just add a sub mesh to it and we'll just replace the stroke. And drag that straight into here. In the segment path, you've also got this option down the bottom called extension mode, both end or start. I'm just going to leave it as both. And then I'm just going to crank that right up. And then I can add this. 40 and you get some pretty cool effects. Ellipse shape, which is actually a star, and I will increase this. So this has got a few options for us. So the inner radius, I'll just tick that, and then I can just increase this. And we've also got use individual radio. So I'll tick that as well. And what that allows us to do is then put a random on here. And it goes ugly because our random radius is less than our any value um, so I'll just bring this in a bit more so on the sides of our star we've got let's bring it up to 20 and on our segment path we've got 40 now I'm just going to jump into my sub mesh and I'll just increase this to 10 and I'm just going to change these to round as well, just to make it look a little nicer. Cool. And now if I want this to move around, I can't actually use the trim or the travel down here. Well, if I do that, it's just going to disappear like this and the travel not going to work. So what we have to use on the original shape is a travel. And I'm just going to put a frame on this. And if I hit play, it goes crazy. So I'm just going to come down here into my value and just type in point one. And that's slightly easier on the eye. So I've got my little circle and I'm going to pop that into a duplicator. And I'll change this to path and I'll change my count to 20. And if I put my original star shape in there you can see that it's kind of joint up on the edges or the ed ends of all those segments and another thing i don't have to so we've got this travel option in our path here where they move around i don't have to be, do that because i've put a travel deformer on my original shape Cool, huh? So now I'm just going to jump into this sub mesh. And another thing we can do here is just right click on this and we could also add a random. Five and say 20. So this is a relatively basic setup, but you can do some kind of cool things with it. As with all my tutorials, I feel like I've got to put a bit of disclaimer in and um, explain that this might not be necessarily big, beginner friendly, but hey, yeah, here we are. I'm just going to use the pen tool and I've got my stabilizer on. And there we go. Not too bad. So this time I'm going to use a stroke duplicator so I can just create my beautiful little shape turn off stroke and come into stroke duplicator so I've created an array and I'm just going to beef this up to 20 and I'll link my color array into that and now I'm just going to click trim 
and 100 divided by 20 is 5. And then I'm going to right click on travel and I'm going to put a stagger on it. And I'm going to put this minimum, oh, sorry, maximum up to 100. And I'm just going to come back into my color array. I'm just going to change those. So this is another little gotcha funny kind of one. As you can see here, it's not perfect. Okay. So to get rid of these, I haven't really got a, a foolproof um, solution. So what I do <laughs> is I go 21 and there's like a little bit of overlap, but you can't really see what it is. Or you could tweak these settings down here. I'm kind of happy with this system that I've got here. So as you can see, you can't uh, jump in here and hit this travel. I'm just kind of curious what happens now if I jump in here and hit travel. Let's just try it. That works. But I'm just going to delete that. Another thing we can do is just jump into our stagger and we can animate this as well. Nice. So the cool thing about this is that we can actually change it around quite a bit. Um, we can have, you know, this is just like broken up, just the segments and it's just moving around. It's nothing too exciting. But what if we wanted to have multiple shapes moving at different times and overlapping and things like that. So what we can do is just right click on offset, add a frame. And on the frame, we're going to change this value to a random. Uh, this is this value here is going to affect the speed of it. So I'm just going to go random. So 0.1 and 0.8. I had a play around before and I think those were okay. And to make this a bit um, a little easier to follow, I'm going to come into here, change my width to random as well. And I'll just change my cap style. And you can see there is a bit of movement with those shapes and how they move around. To fill in those some of those gaps, I can just add more in the stroke count. So if I wanted to change the opacity for some of these, uh, the easiest way is just to jump into your color array and then just change it however you want. I just thought it added like a little interesting kind of touch to it. Another thing we can do to change the look and feel of this a little bit is to change I'm going to change this back to flat and we've got this option here for center, inner, outer. Again, any and outy. They're taking over. I thought that was quite a cool effect where the path does cross over. Uh, but yeah, have a play. Like there's a lot that can be done with the different, uh, different speeds. Um, as well as, you know, different widths and, you know, changing the, the cap style as well as changing the align there. You know, there's quite a bit that can be done. Cool. So hopefully that gives you a few ideas. Um, I've just kind of cut this tutorial a little shorter than what I was wanting to make it. I came up with a few other little kind of things to do, but to be honest, I'm just a little bit sick and I couldn't really be bothered getting my doing the mental gymnastics to explain some of it. If you have issues with doing multiple um, strokes and runs on multiple strokes, I have a hack for you. Um, but I'm only going to do it if people ask for it. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just see how we go. Cool. Thanks for watching.